Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to another recording of the Talos Principle, the Road to Gehenna DLC. I wanted to point out that the achievements here on this menu, because all of the achievements are these bright yellow icons, it really stands out where like the options menu is just a white on black and white background that you can barely even see. Uh, reset restart checkpoint and stop game both don't even point to anything all right so we're back in this world i think there's a star this way that i didn't get i know that there's a star this way i didn't get for the puzzle this way we did get the star and we've been introduced to what may be more of a puzzle or not in the fact that there is a statue of a leprechaun and some of the parts of the body of the leprechaun can go through the purple walls and being head parts it seems and the other parts can't and that's weird and we solved the last puzzle using a part of the leprechaun but honestly i could have probably solved it without that part easily so let's go in here and do this puzzle, free one more robot. Now this one's going to have the rewind and playback function, which I do not remember. So this might prove to be a little bit more difficult as far as a, a pro. So here we have an AI person trapped. Again, where is the switch? It's over here. Means we have to open this. We can jump to the other side. Or we can select this. And we can select that. And we can select that. Is there anything else that we could potentially select? No, it doesn't seem like it. Alright. Okay. There's a quick escape ladder on this side in case we get stuck behind there. So the easiest way to solve this is to just cheat. Like, I imagine there probably is a way to get, get another item and solve the puzzle. But since we've already got these head pieces, let's just take one. In the destruction of the statue, we found an easy solution. Now it's not as easy as I might like, but it works. So now we're over here. And because we're over here, I can put like this down. And apparently, this is a stargate. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you record this. With, and then you play it back. Uh, let's see if that's something we even need to do. Um, if this was standing here, it still wouldn't be in the right position. Can't do that. Alright, well. We'll try this. And then we'll come here. And then we'll come here. And then we'll play this back. And we'll just jump on this. So when you're recording, everything records and stays the same. Okay. Let's put this down. I 
guess we could even test to make sure that this works. Hmm. So it might be a case here of actually I need all the pieces. just record ourselves coming over here and then we'll play back like we really didn't have to do all of this though because we could be detaching the fans and using the fans as another element but let's let's go ahead and do it the fact that all three of the pieces that can go through the purple uh, section, though, are uh, are being used in this tells me that there's there's not much else that could have been done. Um, this gate has to open from the other side, I guess. Okay, but we're, we're cool. So now we go back this way. And we grab this. And this. And jump here. And this. So how are we going to get this all the way around? Hmm. I feel like I'm short a deflector. Yeah. Because best case scenario... Here. Best case scenario would be to have something flying in the air. But for it to be flying in the air, we would have to work some other ways too. Uh, there is. Let's see if we can connect on that one. Uh, no, don't tell me I dropped that in the middle. Oh, no. You start checkpoint. Alright. So we can do that. It's like that and that. And that. Place that down. Um So I dropped something that I don't think is supposed to be dropped and also I've lost all those pieces they've all reset interesting that's gonna pose to be a slight problem because then I'd have to run around and find them all again and maybe I didn't find them all in the first place If I wasn't to use that, I would have had to pick this up and fly flown. Interesting. It's not working. Interesting. That did not work a lot of those times. Like this. Okay. Okay, I think I've got this. 
place this down here. It's, it's just going to be easier to do this the other way. Um, somewhere around here is another piece of a leprechaun. Just find it. Looking for the head. That was not one of the pieces I wanted. Hmm. I don't think these randomize or anything, so I may have to just memorize where where the important ones are. So we'll just toss that while we're at it. And meanwhile, there's also a this one. Just toss that there. There's quite a few over here, but I'm not sure if any of them are actually head pieces that matter. Hmm. I'm being a little redundant here because thought it was over in this section. Hmm. Lovely water lake waves. So we run through this. Continue to drop the pieces. Hmm. And see, I spent way too much time finding these pieces only now to, to decide that I actually need them. But it'll just be a lot easier than trying to figure out the recording system which we're still going to have to use like make no doubt about it the, the recording system is is going to play a part here um, so it must be somewhere over in this section because this is where most of the body parts were. And a lot of them mixed in with the green. I don't know how you'd have a different skin other than a leprechaun or it mixed in with green, but I guess it doesn't matter because when we go to the next world and it's all sand and pyramids, then that stops being an issue, doesn't it? I kind of feel like maybe I've found a piece here that I didn't find before. And if that's the case, maybe I never got all the pieces together in the first place. There's only one thing there. There's only one thing over here. So it's somewhere in this middle section, I bet. I've forgotten about it. Now that might be where it's supposed to be. Let's see what happens if we grab a leg and try to place it. Yes, it is. Use. Interesting. So we are supposed to be building this statue 
in the middle of that. Hmm. Have we read this one? To me, the honor is insignificant, is sufficient of belonging to the universe. Yeah, I think we read that one already. Gotta figure out the first. Oops, let's not do that. Let's let's run this way and see if if I nope. That is definitely not something I can use. understand how the feet would not be the first thing to use there but apparently it is okay I'm getting it So there's a belt part that we're looking for. I saw it, a take. So there is something here. Here it is. See, so if I put that on that, then I can't use it over here. So I'm gonna wait. Okay. So. Here's what I wanna do. I wanna put this right there. Okay. Now, does that really matter? I don't think it really does too much. I want to put this. This is this is weird. Yeah, I really don't think it's actually supposed to be doing what it's doing. This. This, this, and this. Like, I don't, I don't know why that would be even important, actually. So instead, let's just connect this one and place it there for sanity's sake. Uh, but I, I don't know if that's really that important. Okay. Take this and let's see. So I'm going to now record and just stand on this. And I don't, you have a maximum of like five minutes. I don't think we need that really. It seems like 15 seconds should be more than enough for, for now playback so my goal is to take this that and link to the memory of that and connect to the memory of that and then fly over here and then come over here and free And we're done with that part. 
Interesting little dragon pedestal. And here we have a hat. Or dog bowl, maybe upside down. Hmm. Okay. So our next part of this, now that things are unlocked, are going to come from trying to get this all the way around. There's a star. So let's see. Let's start with this and this. Oh shoot. Well, I guess I can walk around here just fine. And this. And then we're going to try to get it as far back as here. That should be all right, but actually, if I do that, then I don't know if that's the right move or not. But I guess we're gonna have to try because eventually we need it. We need the red laser to be hitting that one to open this gate. So, there's no easy way on the other side, we're still floating, and there's still no way into this, and this is just going to just annoy us with beeping. Okay. Well, that's red laser. I mean, that'll get me kind of nowhere, but okay. Let's see what this does. Yeah, there's a red laser over there we can't connect to. There's a red laser here we're going to try and connect to. There's a red laser here we're going to try and connect to. And that we're going to try and connect to. So we need this to be far enough back in a couple different directions. That should work. So let's see. Just come over here and use this. Okay. And now we just walk around here. This is getting complicated very fast. Just that and just that. And there is just that. So if I could find a perfect position. Uh, I guess that doesn't matter. So, we'll do that. Alright. Oh, we've got to get the red and the blue all the way down the, down the fence. This is going to be a big one. This is going to take a lot of effort. Is there a way to turn this off? Yeah, we have the blue laser. So if we get the blue laser 
over here so that this is connected all the way to connect to all of these. That should work. Oh, we've got to get the blue laser out where it is. Meanwhile, the red laser, it's got to connect I really wish that there was like a tunnel that they had opened up. This red laser needs to open up over here. Which kind of means, I think, that if I just go around, how many pieces of items do I have sitting around, by the way? Um, there's one here and one there. And so there's another piece out here to find. If I could find that piece, I'm fine. So where are you hiding? Wasn't there one, like, in the bushes? Or did we already find that one? Hmm. Making little jumps forward and backward with the run button. There, there was one, like, here. I guess we found that one. Here's the head. Alright, good. I'll be a little freaked out if it turns out that... that once I put the entire statue together, it starts dancing around or something like that. Uh, that will be freaky, certainly. direction like this hmm. run around here run around all the way here now if I step off that 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 stops working so there we go. Now. Here's the question. Is there any reason why I would want to change that? No. So then this just boils down to... Can I... Maybe record what I've got? and then play it back. And then just see what happens to move the other one around. Right. I mean, we can just stand here and let's give ourselves a good 20 seconds and we'll see what happens. Might need more than 20 seconds, actually. Hmm. So we'll give ourselves a good 30 seconds. Right. Now, I'll jump over here and what I think needs to happen is we need to be able to take this, do this, do this, and do this.
can we see all three of the things we're targeting at? No, wait, this, 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 and this. Let's hope that I can see everything. Hmm. And hit it. Did we screw up too much? Let's just take a moment to look here. You know what, it would probably be easier if I just leave this here and then take the fan off that and place it there. Alright. So the red is still good. problem would be a point here which I guess we can take this don't need it and we're just gonna play with this so it stays down. There we go. Alright. So we've got to get the red laser, though, to turn this down. And I don't know how we're going to get the red laser all the way around without like majorly screwing some things up hmm. but there, there's kind of no other option to, to get this started we need this laser down and that means this laser here this part is going to have to I guess be grabbed and then placed all the way back here and then the other one's gonna have to be grabbed and placed all the way back there So it's this, this, and this placed here. Jump over here. Start some recording. I'm gonna have to take this. And I guess maybe I could just see if I could change this a little bit so it's a little bit more helpful. Like, because if I could get it to stay here and hit that one and be a little bit out of the way. I need this red beam really to come back this way and be all the way back to this. Hmm. And there's kind of no way that's going to happen. I 
let's let's just see what happens here. Let's just run. I'm just gonna take this. Take this. And see if we can somehow put it there. And then see if we can maybe run all the way around. I don't know why I'm climbing over. Maybe grab this. And maybe grab this. And maybe grab this. And maybe this. And maybe this. And maybe this. And maybe this. Are we anywhere? This is kind of a nightmare scenario. Hmm. Like, well, this part over here doesn't matter too much right now, so... Let's see if we can get the blue working and then we can get the red working, I think, a lot easier. Um, yeah, I don't... I don't really see a great solution here. Okay. So this is this laser going in every direction except for the direction it should be going in the wrong color so over here now the idea would be to record this and then start moving things around give yourself a long amount of time now I'm hitting the run button and that's not speeding up time or anything, so that is a consideration, I suppose, to, to think about. And I seriously don't see how you could get this to work if, if you didn't have those body parts. It, it would be a lot more difficult. Let's give ourselves a good 45 seconds. Um, to make this happen. Hmm. That should be enough. Let's just see. No. Can we hit a point where this is connected? Yes. Does that help us in any way. Maybe, maybe not. We'll just have to see. And... I think I've got it. See, I think that now unlocks that side. And I don't think there's a like too much of a timing thing here ah, why did that fail because this part disappeared so this and this I think have to be where it starts with the recordings and then I think what you have to do is change it up while the recordings are still happening hmm. 
I'm not sure I was a great fan of these uh, record and playback mechanics. It brought the game to definitely something Portal never did, but it also overly complicates everything. Like, really, really badly. Let's just hope that that's enough time. Right now. So, while that happens, I'm going to take this one and this one, place those down. And meanwhile, I'm going to take this one, take that one, that one, and that one, and that. Hope these all line up well. Do that. That's great. Unfortunately, I think I needed to take this and turn it. I didn't give myself enough time. But I had it. And I guess every failure here is just another few seconds. Another minute. Alright, so. Has to connect here, has to put you here. Run all the way around. This has to be connected to that and placed in a decent position where it can be seen. And then start this and just stand here in case I decide I need to do that, which I don't think I will. Yeah, in each of these episodes, I wanted them to be 30 minutes, but this is a great example of a game where you just really cannot fall into that trapping. Uh, a lot of games, yeah, you can find good places to end after 30 minutes, but here, if it takes 45 minutes, if it takes an hour, that's just what it's going to take. Now, when we're done with this star puzzle, there's... A couple more I still want to spend time on, so it'll probably be another episode until we're done with this area. But at that point, we should be one-fourth of the way done with the entire DLC. Pretty good DLC. I'm not sure how much it cost in the long run, though. So it might have been a little expensive. Maybe it was right on, on the right price. It still feels like it's a bit of a shame that nothing more other than the VR version of this game has come out in the time since. Right. So that. And I just cannot hit that while hitting the other two, so we'll just ignore that. That's asking too much. Um, this being said, now we have this one, this one, this one, and this one, and can we get all four? Yes, we've got to now run as fast as possible to connect this with this, put that down, and we've got the star. And what happens after the recording ends? Hmm. Do these disappear? Could you trap yourself? Would you get an achievement for trapping yourself? Hmm. We've got eight more seconds to think about that. Hmm. No, I guess after the recording's done. I set it up in such a way that it was no longer an issue. Hmm. Yeah, and it, it doesn't feel like there's a case here to be made if I was to 
detach the, the fan from the other side and swing it around. I don't think that's that's a stronger fan in some way. Hmm. They they seem like they are in the same same general power level. So let's see. Yeah, it just sends you in the same place, and these two are not even coordinate coordinated in that way. So. Uh, not even a big deal. Let's not destroy everything terribly. So what I'm gonna wanna do is take this, put that there, take this, put this down on this, take the head and put that back. So we're taking back our pieces. Uh, which I think is just more evidence that we could have probably solved the entire puzzle without that extra bit of help. Uh, but it certainly did help. Like, not having to carefully, perfectly figure out uh, what what was the right move? It's nice. There you go. We'll just record about 10 seconds of playback and then we'll take it with us. Like, yeah, this, this puzzle would have been definitely more complicated with all the recording and playing back. And I guess I'm just willing to risk it at this point to put the statue together. Or, you know, we can save that for next time. So, there is a still decent possibility that in the effort to figure out how to get the remaining stars, uh, we... We need these pieces, and if I put them in the statue, they won't work for us. Or, maybe it's as simple as the idea of if you put the leprechaun together, maybe it just brings the gold stars to you. So we've got more text to read and two more gold stars, and we'll work on that in the next recording. Uh, yeah, I guess so. That's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box. And if you want to support me even further, there's a link to Patreon. Or you can friend me on Steam and gift me a game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.